What's up guys, welcome back to Mr. Legend Crypto guys. In this video, we're taking a look at Bitcoin, how to prepare for a bear market. Right now, Bitcoin is currently trading for $29,000 and there's many speculation that we're in the bear market. In this video, we're looking at Bitcoin, what Bitcoin has done in the previous bear market and how we can prepare for the next bull run. We'll be looking at Bitcoin's market capture, looking at Bitcoin dominance and then the dollar currency index is very, very important. If we're going to say a new all timer in Bitcoin and guys, Bitcoin always goes through these four year cycles, looking at the Bitcoin having. When next should we expect Bitcoin having? Looking at other metrics to tell us when is the best time to actually buy Bitcoin during the bear market. Are we in the bear market? What are the emotions we'll go through the bear market? When should you buy Bitcoin for historic returns? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Let's get down to business. Guys, at the point of recording this video, one Bitcoin is going for $29,500. Bitcoin has been stuck in a range for the past 13 days. But we're looking at Bitcoin from the weekly perspective in this video. And guys, if there's something I just noticed about the Bitcoin price chart, is every bear market, Bitcoin comes back to test its 200-day week moving average. And that has proven over time to be the bottom of the Bitcoin bear market. Right now, we have not gotten to the 200 week moving average. 200 week moving average is around 21600 are we going to get there and guys you can see that anytime we get to the 200 week moving average sometimes we week below it some other times we just touched it and then we continue going up uh, are we going to week below it are we just going to touch it and week up a lot of people are saying that we're going to touch the previous all-time high i'm going to touch the previous all-time high for bitcoin uh, it's going to take bitcoin around this 20k region so if we assume that the moving average will come like this bitcoin touching the 200 week moving average will carry bitcoin around the previous all-time high that's if we touch the 200 week moving average or we week down are we going to touch 20k or will the bottom of bitcoin be 21k only time we tell at this point in time guys looking at the bitcoin market cap chart it shows that bitcoin is in a huge bubble uh, we might see lower prices so people are expecting us to just go straight into a bull run but i realize that guys for a bitcoin bull run to happen we have to normally have a period of like one year of downward price action or one year of a bear market as everybody will call it if bitcoin actually tops in april 2021 guys it looks as if we're already down 395 days since when bitcoin topped if you are part of the camp that believe bitcoin tops in november 2021 it looks as if we are deep in the bear market and we should be expecting lower prices for bitcoin so guys what have bitcoin done in the previous bear market if we go to inception for bitcoin on uh, since 2010 how many bear markets have bitcoin been through on um, bitcoin had this pump in 2011 bitcoin went from as low as 0 0.06 dollars to as high as 32 dollars that was wonderful returns for the investors of bitcoin but what happened in the corresponding bear market after that bitcoin lost over 94 percent of its value it came down below two dollars and that was a mini bear market for bitcoin this was in 2011 and then bitcoin went on another bull run in 2012 2013 as a matter of fact bitcoin had two peaks then something similar to 2021 bitcoin had two peaks in 2013 he had a peak in november 2013 and he had another peak in april 2013 guys does this sound familiar to you we had a peak in 2021 in april and we had another peak in november so it looks as if what's happening in 2013 is happening again now you might be wondering uh it's probably just coincidence that we had two peaks in 2013 and we had two peaks in 2021 we had two peaks in 2013 one in April 2013, one in November 2013. When next the Bitcoin set a new all time highs after touching the 200 day week moving average, Bitcoin came back to set a new all time high in December 2017. Guys, which is roughly four years after the first high that was set in 2013. Now, you might be wondering, it's just four years. Yes. What are the odds again that four years later we set another high in April 2013? What's that? What are the odds that, guys, four years later we set another high in April? 2021 and then we set another high again in november 2021 looks as if we're repeating what just happened in 2013 so if i'm going to go with my pattern recognition brain i'll just assume that guys in 2025 entry 2026 we're going to have another bull run but the next bull run might just probably one peak just like 2017 and so we might have another bull run maybe four years maybe five years from now on 2024 2025 2026 your guess is as good as mine when the next bitcoin bull run will happen 
guys looking at the bitcoin dominance chart anytime bitcoin is in the bear market we actually see bitcoin dominance actually increasing that's not what you want to see if you're holding all coins but that's what happens when bitcoin is in the bear market you can see from the top of the market right here in 2018 um, bitcoin bottomed in december 2018 and where was bitcoin then in the dominance chart bitcoin has already risen up to 59 percent on this dominance chart from as low as 36 percent that's what to expect with bitcoin in the bear market now where can we get bitcoin for historic returns if we want to get good return on investment i don't want to be among the people that bought bitcoin at the top right here a lot of people bought bitcoin at the mania phase from around 29,000 upwards so they have not been in profit so when should we buy bitcoin uh, if you want to see profits in the future guys you want to buy bitcoin when the dollar is turning on itself uh, history has shown that anytime the dollar is losing value on the crypto market and bitcoin in particular actually goes on a bull run and uh, you can see three examples or four different examples of that happening you can see here in 2014 um, bitcoin went on a bull run and guess what the dollar went up in value bitcoin had a bear market the dollar lost value bitcoin had another bull run and the dollar gained value again bitcoin was in the bear market and you can see in 2016 december the dollar stayed losing value what happened then guys went another wonderful bull run this was when the 2017 bull run happened for bitcoin and cryptos when the dollar started gaining value again what happened to bitcoin and crypto we went on another bear market and when the dollar topped right here during the COVID sell-off in march 2020 bitcoin stayed another bull run that went from four thousand dollars to as high as sixty nine thousand dollars guess what guys look at the dollar actually bottom right here and the crypto market topped right here you see april 2021 may 2021 that was when the crypto market topped and then since then the dollar has been increasing value and the crypto market has been a downward trend right now it looks as if the dollar is turning on itself if the dollar is turning on itself we'll actually be happy because it looks as if green days are coming back to the crypto market but guys before green days come back to the crypto market we have to grow through the bear market and look right now it looks like bitcoin is in the bear market you can see the previous bear market took us about a year to go through it the market topped as long december 2017 and it took us as long as one whole year because the bottom of the market came around december 2018 the market tops in december 2017 and the bottom of the market came in december 2018 so the bottom of the market right now might come in december if you agree that the market if you agree that the top of the market was in april 2021 probably be at the bottom right here because we're in mid 2022 but if you agree that the market the top of the market was in november 2021 then the bottom of the market might be in november 2022 and guys looking that looking at the past history and knowing that bitcoin always comes to touch its 200 day moving average will this time be different will it not come and touch its 200 moving average only time we tell guys the bitcoin halving happens every four years and just funny enough we always have bull runs every four years now we have 675 days to the next bitcoin halving is going to approximately happen on the 31st of march 2024 and it's very funny that anytime we have a bitcoin halving on the corresponding year we always have a bitcoin bull run look at it in 2013 we had a halving what happened in 2012 we had a halving what happened in 2013 guys we want a wonderful bull run 2016 we had a bitcoin halving 2017 we went on another bull run 2020 we had a bitcoin halving in may 11 2020 and by may 11 2021 bitcoin had gone on a bull run now in may 2000, in March 2024, guys, we are going to be having another Bitcoin halving. Are we going to set a new all-time high by May 2025? And the timeline for Bitcoin is telling us that if we set a, a new all-time high by May 2005, it aligns with things in it. It now predicts that we have Bitcoin actually kind of set a new high every four years. Will this time be different? Probably not. We'll probably still do what we did the last time. But I still see us doing, having a long consolidation this time. You can see that from the last top of the cycle to the next top of the cycle from 2013 to 2017, it took over 1,477 days. Guys, if you take us over 1,477 days to set another new all-time high, from the high we had in November 2021, guys, it's going to take us well into 2025 before we set another new all-time high. 1,477 days taking us to November 2025. Are we going to wait that long to get a new Bitcoin uh, all-time high? Only time will probably tell right now, but it's very fascinating to see that every time Bitcoin has a halving or any time Bitcoin halving actually occurs in the year following it, we actually have an all-time high. And this is a table just showing you what has happened in 2012, Bitcoin halving, new all-time high in 2013, 2016, Bitcoin halving, new all-time high in 2017, 2020, Bitcoin halving, 
new all time high in 2021. We're going to have the next Bitcoin having in 2024. Fingers crossed for Bitcoin new all time high in 2025. So, where should you be getting some Bitcoin if you want to get some? Guys, the next chart we're going to be looking at is stablecoin dominance. I pick out the top three biggest stablecoins in the crypto market that's Theta, USDC, and Binance stablecoins. And guys, you can see that anytime the stablecoin dominance is actually increasing into new all time highs, the market is actually dumping. It means a lot of people are running to stablecoins. Anytime Bitcoin is in the bear market, you expect a lot of people to be in cash because the market is not favorable for people to put their money in the market. Right now, the stablecoin dominance is getting to all-time highs. We have stalled at 11.5%. You want to see it set new all-time highs and fall on itself. And anytime it falls on itself, it means people are leaving stablecoins and people are actually running into the crypto market. And that's when you want to be rigged on. The last time we had this phenomenon happen was July 2021. And what happened? The stablecoin dominance lost over 51% of its value and the whole crypto market pumped bitcoin went to set a new all-time high you can see the same phenomenon was happening right here in october 2020 when bitcoin dominance in october 2020 when stablecoin dominance started losing its value the whole crypto market started going up and stablecoin dominance lost over 56 percent of its value and then you can see that around february 2021 stablecoin dominance started increased and a lot of people argue that that's when bitcoin actually topped guys looking at this wall street street sheet it looks as if we're in capitulation phase a lot of people are angry that the market is down but it looks like people have sold out and they're in stable coins that's why the stable coin dominance is increasing but after capitulation we still need anger where people will be angry that the market is coming down right now there's panic there's capitulation in the market and there's fear a lot of people believe we'll still be seeing lower prices and i think the bottom is almost in so i'll be looking to get some bitcoin when the market go lower i'll be expecting lower prices for bitcoins on all coins you can see this chart after capitulation comes anger and then comes depression and that's the best time to get Guys, this two-year Bitcoin investor tool is showing us that anytime Bitcoin is in this green region, that's a good time to start accumulating. But you just don't want to start accumulating just yet, guys, because Bitcoin can actually stay under this line for a very long time. You can see in 2018, um, before the market bottom, Bitcoin got there on 23rd of November 2018, and it didn't leave that region till on the 13th of May 2019. So the bottom is not just going to come at a flash. We're going to have multiple bites at the bottom. The free and greedy index is showing us that we're in extreme fear, and that's what you want to see when you're buying any of these assets. You want to buy when it's extreme fear. I want to sell when it's in extreme greed. Right now, we're being in extreme fear for like three months. So the bottom might probably be in very, very soon. And this chart is showing us that anytime you buy in extreme fear, in the past, history has always shown that when you go back to extreme greed and you sell, you always be in profit. Anytime the market is in extreme fear, if you buy during that time and you wait over a long period of time, um, most times if you wait for over a year or two years, you end up being in profit. Um, the thing about the market is that you have to actually bid your time. You cannot just hurry the market and try to get your profit in and out. You have to wait and the market will come to you. Uh, are we going to get a new all-time high before the next Bitcoin halving? Or we have to get a new Bitcoin halving to get a new all-time high? I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Guys, how do you think we can well prepare for Bitcoin in the bear market? How can we get Bitcoin on the chip for historical returns? Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Seven, one, two.